Welcome to Love and Money Secrets TV and today I want to talk a little bit about how do you know if you get into a theta state when you're meditating and this is something that just now I had another person reach out to me asking me about that in my video where I discuss you know how to get over a breakup and the five steps to getting through that process and when you do the meditation aspect of it, how do you know that you're in theta state? And whether you're doing that process for that purpose or if you're doing, doing any kind of meditation. And what I learned, and I'm just gonna explain what my own personal experience was, and I hope that this will resonate with you. If what I'm saying here in this video, if it resonates with you, and congratulations that you're at the right place at the right time with the right people. And I made this video for you. If this sounds wonky to you and it doesn't make any sense and it's just you're just not buying it and um, you think it's just a bunch of malarkey, that just, you know that little X at the top right hand corner of your computer screen or your cell phone? Click it and move on to a video that you like better. That's all I'm going to say about that. This isn't for everybody. It's just for the somebody who is looking for information. And this makes not only sense to them, it may or may not make sense to you, but it may resonate with you. And you might just have this inner knowing that, you know what, this just sounds true to me. And so those are the folks that I'm looking to reach here with this video. So back to how do you know if you're in a theta state? So what I found was when I first started realizing, probably about five or six years ago, that you can actually not only get yourself into a theta state through different practices, whether you do just an outright meditation, or if you do Tai Chi or Qigong, or you just do self-hypnosis, uh, there's different ways of going about doing it. Um, so when I have done done it through yoga, I have done it through Tai Chi, through Qigong, and through just regular regular old meditation. And um, I've, had, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars over my lifetime on all sorts of different you know, education and training to get to where I am today. So I'm, my, my goal is to collapse time frames and to quicken your journey in getting to the point where I am right now. And no one can get away from actually doing the work. No one can do the meditations for you. It's kind of like, you know, when you go to the bathroom, that's a favor you can't ask somebody to do for you. Only you can go to the bathroom for yourself. That's not meant to be crude, it's to drive the point home. That in order for you to receive the inner benefits of learning how to get your brain into theta state, uh, you have to do the work and the work is you simply have to slow yourself down you have to deep breathe you have to quiet the mind you have to close your eyes and I don't want you to overthink the whole meditation thing people sometimes put such great weight on certain labels and certain words whether you call it prayer whether you call it meditation you know transcendental meditation there's so much lingo and language and paradigms that are associated with all these different things. Bottom line here, our goal is to convey to you who are watching this video that you can get into theta state and how to get into theta state and how do you know without an actual device that you put on that will actually measure your brain waves, how do you know that you're in theta state? Let me tell you how I found out that I was in theta state and how I could confirm that I was in theta state and then how I was able to associate the feeling of being in theta state with um, a certain feelingness and, and knowingness. And so what I did was I just simply, the, the easiest thing to do is, you know, people say, oh, focus on the breath. But for me, that wasn't enough instruction. Um, and I had plenty of mentors and teachers who said, just focus on the breath. That's not enough. Yes, you are going to focus on the breath. But the key to it, honestly, is slowing down your breath. Now, stop for a second, and I want you to think about this, because I'm going to say here, if you play an instrument, 
or have played an instrument, specifically a woodwind instrument, like I play flutes, one of the instruments that I play. If you are an athlete, and whether you swam or you ran or you did any kind of athletic sport that required endurance, that's the second category of people that I'm gonna address. If you did, again, either if you did music, if you were an athlete, if you were a dancer, same thing will apply. One of the things that you had to do in order to do any one of those three activities was control the breath. If you, were, if you just did it at the inception where you did it just the very beginning stages, you probably never got to the point where you really developed your breath. But if you were any kind of an athlete that did anything at any level that was beyond beginner, and I would say intermediate and above, you know that your breath is really, really important. Whenever you, if you're, whether you're working out or whether you're running or whether you're, if you're a dancer, you actually have to slow down your breath. When you slow down your breath, that increases your endurance. And now you can perform at a much higher level because you're controlling your breath and your heart rate. You don't know that, but instinctively you're also automatically in training your brain as you're doing that. That's a feeling that you're going to get by your automatically slowing down the breath. It brings a certain calmness, but it also brings an intense focus so that what you're trying to accomplish, you're able to get to your goal, to the destination point. And that's what we're trying to do here, is we're trying to get you to the destination point that you have the outcome that you want. And the way to do that, the tool that you're gonna use is meditation. And meditation can be done with your eyes opened or your eyes closed. For right now, let's just focus on the closed eyes meditation because if you can do it with your eyes closed, then we can up the ante and once you've isolated the, the sense of seeing, then when you know what the feeling is like with your eyes closed and the sense of seeing eliminated and you, you're just in darkness, now you're isolating what you're hearing, you're isolating what you're feeling with your senses, what you're tasting, what you're smelling. That's part of all the meditative process is. So as you slow down your breath, and I like to use the number 10 as a whole complete number that's an even number. So you just close your eyes, you count to 10 and you're gonna inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. And part of the thing is, is you're going to slowly inhale as slowly as you can, and you're gonna be bringing your energy from the bottom energy center, which is at the base of your spine or the base of your perineum. And then you're gonna 10 deep breaths, but they're slow. And you just breathe in as slowly as you can, all the way up, bringing the energy to the top of your head, holding it as long as you comfortably can, and then releasing and then following the energy all the way down. And if you're at the stage, like I said before, that you can go down one step, the next step, third step, fourth step, fifth step. When you get to the 10th step, you've commanded your brain. Okay, you are now in theta state. Give yourself a moment. Sometimes you will feel um, your body will actually go forward or you might sit up straighter or you might even feel like a sinking down. You may not even be moving at all, but you might feel a sinking down energy, kind of like a type of a uh, feeling and so it's a very dark quiet place sometimes it's even darker than what you started at least for me that's been that way and then you go into into the reason for your meditation so I hope I covered all the bases here we talked about how to get into a theta state and how to know if you're in a theta state and the benefits of getting into a theta state, like I briefly mentioned, is to upregulate and downregulate your autonomic nervous system, 
biochemistry basically and neuroendocrinology to get the um, basically the proteins to be your, your autonomic, autonomic nervous system is the the part of you that creates all the proteins there's like 140,000 proteins and we have 23,688 genes and so those genes in order for them to express a trait they need certain proteins to turn them on so that they manifest a certain expression so make no mistakes if you have any kind of illness uh, in your body you can it's probable that that illness is there the disease the lack of ease within your body which the source are thoughts and emotions the thoughts that go in your brain and the emotions that are lodged into your body there's a direct correlation there and through this methodology you can fix it so that's in a nutshell there's a lot of information there I know I'm gonna try to keep this as simple as possible but I do value um, giving you enough substance so that you so that you you know for me it's really important for me that I facilitate educate encourage and empower you through giving you solid information so that now you can take another step in the direction of where it is that you want to go with enough tangible information that makes not only logic but you it sounds true to you and now there's some science in it there's there's foundational you know information of substance now there's something you could sink your teeth in you're like yeah that makes sense yeah oh i understand that so you may not be able to repeat it but you understand it enough to go yeah i get now i now i understand why now i get it so yeah i can take another step now yeah i feel confident i can get into a theta state and it's possible you don't have to train with somebody to do this but you may want to train with someone just to be assured that you're doing it right but my friend i want to encourage you you already know how to do this you have just forgotten and you just need to trust yourself believe and know that you are hardwired to do this we all are there isn't a single human being there's no one too young or too old that can't do this there's no one that's too fit or not fit enough who can't do this there's no one i love what dr joe dispenza says there's no one that's so special that you are incapable of doing this there's if you pass the mirror test that's what's required you are breathing you are alive that's all that's required so thank you for tuning in tapping in turning on to love and money secrets tv i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to like share and subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified every time we have a new video up and um, last but not least if you know of someone who is going through something similar through you that's a difficulty that's a challenge that's a pain point for you but maybe you're farther along than they are i want to encourage you to share what has worked for you because that's one of the five steps that i talk about in my video on how to get over a breakup in five steps and incidentally that video is not just for breakups anytime you have somebody that triggers you it could be somebody you know it could be a mother-in-law it could be a neighbor it could be a boss it could be darn well anybody um, I'm, I learned after I did that video that there are people that have been using that video in different types of relationships not just in breakups and it turns out that that soul tie contract that I talked about in that video and cutting that uh, soul tie connection and breaking up that soul contract it's not just for romantic relationships so that's kind of a i guess a teaser but i think it directly correlates with what we're talking about here so that's it i am going to end this video now and you see you don't have to be perfect to do these videos you just have to have an open heart and be willing to share what has worked for you and i hope that this saves you a lot of time I hope it saves you a lot of money. Like I said, I have invested an incredible amount. It's probably been at least over half a million dollars just in my education alone. And um, that's 
a lot of money to get to where I am today, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's been worth every single penny. Every, every university class that I've taken, every post-education uh, training that I've taken, um, up until you know several months ago, it's all been priceless and it's been part of my journey. And uh, now, whatever I can do to gift others, that's part of my purpose and my passion as well. And for those who absolutely positively insist on wanting a private session, then yeah, I, I am available for private sessions and for group sessions as well. But for those, there's some people who absolutely want just the one-on-one, -on -one, then you know, reach out to me and, and um, if it's supposed to be, then it will be, okay? That's it. Thank you for joining Love and Money Secrets TV. Ciao for now from Sicily.